Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Sis. <laughs> Oops. Today I'm reading for the collective. Hey, collectives, what up? Is that on? Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, to book a reading with me or to shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to um Say thank you for uh, for you guys for booking with me. You guys are starting to book, so I really, truly appreciate it. Um, and the feedback as well. I really, truly appreciate the feedback that you have been leaving. I'll be posting those testimonials um, pretty soon. <sighs> but yes, I just want to say thank you. Very grateful. Thank you for the donations as well, too. Very grateful. Um, thank you for sharing. Thank you for being here. So oh, yes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, I do. I really do. For real. I do. I do though. <laughs> I do. There's always a key. You know, we always have we always getting a good cab. You know. Shit. We always gotta laugh. Some way, shape, or form. Well, all this goddamn evil in this world. Yeah, give me some laughter, please. Thank you. I'll take that. Shoot. All you see is people crying. That's all you see. People in anguish. And the little bit of positivity we do get is drowned out. <laughs> By more negativity. <sighs> Boy, I tell ya. All right, so this one is blind. So let's see. I'm gonna let y'all see the words, and then I will see what comes up for me. I'm hearing amb ambiguity, ambu ambiguity, ambiguity. Hmm. All right, let me look that word up. Ambiguity, A A M B Lord, A M B U G. I think it's I T U Y or something like that. Let me see. Ambiguity. Yes, A M B I G U I C Y. So it's uncertainty, doubt, indecision, hesitation. So we have pleasure twice. You saw pleasure, pleasure twice on here. Someone is in discontent or they're they're not comfortable. So of course we're speaking about sex here. Someone is very hesitant with having sex with someone. Okay, I want to look up languid really quickly. The etymology for the word languid is faint. List, list, sluggish, weakness, fatigue, or want of energy. So someone is very weak or for, or fatigue. Then we also have a bra here. We have dolphin and we have paradigm. Paradigm, um, so switching. Switching um dimensions, switching paradigms, switching to a, to a new reality. Someone is discontent with sex or they're not happy with sex. And languid is more so feeling very weak or feeling very sluggish here. So someone feels very weak or they feel very sluggish. And they're deciding... They're deciding to move forward. So, okay, dolphin. So when a dolphin communicates with another dolphin, they use telepath, telepathic skills, memory, however way, however you want to look at it. They do. That's one way that they can communicate. Another way is the sonar. When they speak out, they make that high pitch perch or whatever. That's another way. But anywho, they can communicate telepathically. So I get this here. 
is that someone had someone happened someone is they're questioning their partner they're questioning their partner's sexuality they're questioning their partner's like pleasures we have pleasure pleasure twice i didn't even realize that i was just when i picked out the the, the words it just came out and i didn't even realize it came together like that and to me that's very symbolic i mean told to show y'all <laughs> sorry see pleasure pleasure or oh, sorry, pleasure, pleasure. Someone is deciding to walk away because they're they're not happy. They're not happy with their sex life. Their sex life is dwindling here. And we do have the word bra on here. We also have the word at twice. So someone could be saying at eh, eh, or uh-uh. No. Like that, that kind of way, like at eh, eh. Don't do that. Like that. That kind of way. Someone has a child with this person here. So there's either a woman, woman is upset at a man or a man is upset at a woman. Take a high rise name because there's a child invo involved here. And the person, so the woman is upset at the man um, because she's real, realizing there's some things about the man that he has not been forthcoming or truthful with. And the same with the woman. The man is upset that the woman has not been forthcoming or truthful with what, you know, what's been going on here. So now they're starting to feel a form of discontent or they're not, they're not happy. They're not happy with their sex life when it comes to this connection here. Now, here is the kicker here. <laughs> Some way, somehow, collective, child, child, child. You need to have some kind of a Wi-Fi, some kind of something, because every time you hear your name or every time somebody speaks your name, they need to automatically put it into some kind of a fund, a fund where only you are allowed, only you are accessible to it. And I'm talking about a real live fund because the way these people be running your motherfucking name through the fucking dirt is crazy. Now, I know I pulled this blindly. <laughs> But it's all interconnected. Anywho, this is crazy. So the person who's feeling discontent about the sexual history, whatever, is blaming you. Blaming you, collective, as the reason why their sex life sucks. Again, they're blaming you. Or this woman or man taking how it resonates is blaming you for the reason why their sex life sucks. Oh, goody, goody. I don't know, child. I just don't be knowing, child. Because what? We like how old? I don't know about y'all, but I... <laughs> I'm still in my twenties, so I feel. <laughs> I feel like I'm still in my twenties. <laughs> oh man! This is crazy. I've never had a problem with these cards coming out, and now they don't want to come out. What is going on? And then when it come out, it'd be a lot. All right, this is good. Okay, just three cards. Fire Feather vi uh, Violets. Overwhelmed, angry block, burnt out, stressed out, jealousy, feeling out of control. They have an argument about you, about their sex life. They're blaming you. Or the, the one that's, sat, that's not satisfied within the connection is blaming you for the reason why they're not having a successful sex life. It's, yeah, I know. I, I know you're probably like, girl, what the fuck? Is that? Child, I, I'm, I'm, my guess is it's as good as yours because I'm just like, I'm, why do I have to talk about this? Like, why? It's really like because they need to hear it. Uh, ah, who needs to hear this rubbish? This is rubbish. Why do you need to hear this? Come on, man. 
I want to teach better, higher, elevate. I want to teach some higher knowledge, information. Come on. That's what I want to teach. Because this here, this is dookie booty water. You heard what I said? I'm going to say it again. This energy is dookie booty water. Yeah, that's what this is. Dookie booty, dookie booty water energy. Why you want playing dookie booty water? Why? Mm-mm. Give it up, boo. Because the only reason why this these type of readings keep coming out is because you guys are not learning. You're not learning the lesson. And because you're not learning the lesson, some of the readings are going to sound very redundant. If you don't want it to sound redundant, you have to change the narrative. For giving you the message, did this res mess resonate with you? Yes. Okay. Do you like the message that resonated with you? Yes. Okay. Then don't do anything. The message resonated with you, but you didn't like it. You want to change it? Okay, boom. Now you change it. Okay. The next time a reader comes on, all right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Ah, now we got da, 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 boom. Okay. That's how it works. Honestly, that's how it works. They ain't going to tell you, oh, why are they telling the secret? Why? Why y'all gatekeeping shit? That's dumb. Are we here to gatekeep or are we here to elevate? What we doing? I'm here to elevate. So I ain't got time for no gatekeeping shit. I'm here to elevate. That's what I'm here for. Let's get it, right? All right. Anywho, so we do have overwhelmed here. So yes, so they are overwhelmed by... The woman is overwhelmed that the dick can't get up because like i told you the dick has erectile dysfunction is a dick is a big big dead prick big a big dead dick that's a damn tongue twister my ass can't even say that shit without trying to a big big dead dick whatever you get you get my drift or a dried out clam a clammy clam you get my drift all right so down there is not working okay this person has erectile dysfunction. And the, the woman is blaming you for the reason why this person has erectile dysfunction. Why are you blaming the collector for why your dirty dick man is, is, is having erectile dysfunction? What the fuck that got to do with the collective? Because the person got erectile dysfunction. Do you know what erectile dysfunction is? It means it's not working anymore. Could it be you? You were one that's having sex with him. Why are you blaming the fucking the fucking collective? You're not making no sense. Self-limited blocks and thoughts. Feeling caged and restricted. Then move around. Get out of the damn restriction. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Then we have Violet. Broken heart will be healed. Balancing. Sorting truth through fiction. Man, these, these people are just, y'all, different type of bunch of difference, man. Because I don't get that. Your man has erectile dysfunction. You're mad at the collective. I want to make that clear. You're mad at the collective because your man's dick won't get hard for you. And that's the collective's fault. That's what you're saying, karmic. You're not making sense, bruh. You're not making sense. Oh, my God. How? 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 Somebody help me out here. These. Mm, mm, mm. Child. I'm I'm tasting toaster strudels. I don't know if they still make that, but that's what I just taste. I'm tasting pastries, puffs. Somebody's going to France, Paris. I'm hearing on um, French boulangerie, boulanger, all that. Yeah, all that good stuff. Crepes. Um, so I'm going to dive a little deep here. So not be all in your business. Just be careful with 
sex. So if someone is about to have sex or they're, they love to be tied up during sex. This is a new partner here. Cause I heard new player is what I heard. New player. Um, just be careful with the tying up part. Um, it might be too much for them to handle. You, you may have to, um, <laughs> ease them in a little bit yeah don't be out there scaring people with your damn tricks now take your time okay <laughs> take your time because i'm <laughs> sorry <laughs> take your time because what i got a visual of remember um the movie with macaulay Culkin and the skinny guy he was screaming um he got he was getting eat up by the pigeons they threw glue i think he threw glue on him or something and they were in the park and the way he that high pitch ah, that high pitch screaming that is what i'm receiving like that scream so just yeah just be mindful of your kinks with the <laughs> with people yeah yeah spirit wanted me to tell you that okay yeah we don't judge. We don't care. But just want you to be safe. That's all. I'm telling you, high, high yourself. Get in contact. Get in alignment with your higher self. I'm telling you. Someone is getting ready to give birth. Make sure you're not around people that's toxic. The community is in reverse. You need to make sure you have a very a safe delivery because you've been having complications with your your pregnancy. Um, I don't think people are aware that you are pregnant, but they are still stressing you out. You need, wow. Mm. Okay, so this person, so, okay, so let's see. Someone on here is about to have a baby and is going to need some assistance. Now, I feel like you are afraid or nervous to ask for assistance because you don't have a place for your baby. And I completely understand. So... What I'll do is I'll ask the collective if y'all can post different resources in like your state so let's say that it doesn't matter where this person is because then they may not respond so oh it's me you know what i mean but someone could be living in this person's state and you can say like hey virginia resource this is the resources da 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 whatever you know or new mexico blah blah, blah you know what i mean so Let's do that, please. If anybody know of any resources for a, a mom that's transitioning, um, who can get like a home, you know, something like that, from like homeless to like a show, to like a home, that'd be great. And I'll post what I can about Philly and Delaware. Just in case. Sex magic is in reverse. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, 
so they were doing sex magic on this person here and this person oh now all the plot thickens mm. so this woman here was doing some sex work sex magic on this male to where that this meal would only his dick will basically only work for her well, she did this magic so much times. She overdid this spell. She overkilled the spell. This man now has erectile dysfunction from backfire and spell work. Damn. And now she is upset because his dick can't get up for her. And she's blaming you, collective, as the reason why her man dick don't work. So let me get this straight. She did the candle work to, to, to ensure, to highly ensure that this man dick only works for her and for her alone. You ain't had no problem with that. You ain't even know. Cool. It was working. Oh yeah, it was working. All right. She ain't got nothing to say. But as soon as now the, the fucking spell work is backfiring, now sis mad at you. How did it work? Please enlighten us. How does that work? People just be mad at just anything. You doing the damn stupid ass spell work. Why are you doing spell work for a man dick to just be yours? Why are you doing that in the first place? Who does spell work to keep a man? Oh, you know what? Oops, I'm talking way too soon, child. Lord, I forgot the karmics. Karmics do. If you have to do spell work to keep someone, it's not organic. It's a waste of time. Well, you know what? Let me say this. That's my perspective. I'll say that. That's my perspective. I have to remember that. That's my perspective. To me, it's a waste of time. I'm tasting chicken noodle soup. Somebody putting hot sauce in it. Campbell's noodle soup. Some reason these cars are like, I've never had a problem with these cars. Like, it's, it does not want to flip. We have Peace Act and Star Seed. We got Peace. Act and star seed. Then we have solo magic on top. Then we have connect as well. So going back to sex magic in reverse, this person's sex work backfired. They keep doing it over and over and over, but they're not realizing that it's not connecting to the divine or higher or higher being, higher source. It's not connecting. So since it's not connecting, they refuse to have peace or give peace. So they want to raise hell in your life collective because they truly believe it's your fault, even though you had nothing to do with it. That's their bullshit. They're, they're doing their. And they want to act out. They think that you're not a star seed here. And they want to act out. Or more so, they feel like you're not a star seed. So you're not going to act out. They feel like you're not going to say anything. You're not going to do anything. They feel like you're just, you're going to, you're going to allow them to bully you. Oh, I, 
I mean, how old are we, man? This is so like fifth grade, fourth grade. Come on, like what? You did the fucking spell work. His dick don't work because you did fucking spell work. Why are you doing spell work on fucking dick? Come on, what? Why are you doing spell work on dick? All these dicks out here and you doing spell work? Come on, child. Like, spirit, I'm tired of talking about this shit. I am. Oh, my God. Like, this bitch doing spell work on a man. He's not even a man. A nigga. A nigga. Now the damn dick don't work and she's blaming you. What kind of fucker is that? Tell me, what exactly are you blaming the collective for? How was it the collective's fault that the spell work that you did on this man backfired? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But when it was working, you ain't say nothing. You was getting credit. So which one is it? You can't flip flop like this, karmic. You can't flip-flop. Which one is it? Because when it was working, you wasn't saying nothing. You left the, the collective alone because you got what you 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 got what you wanted. Cool. Collective don't care either way, anyways. Mm, I'm tasting Wawa. Yo, y'all should know Wawa's, right? Mm, a mango pineapple drink, a smoothie with a hoagie. Now. I know a lot of us don't live in the same area, but a hoagie will be bomb right now. Or an egg salad sandwich with some um, banana peppers and um, pickles and provolone cheese, child. <laughs> or uh, potato bread from Wawa. Listen, and it's not Wawa's, Wawa's. You got to add an S. So put some emphasis on it. People that know Wawa's are what I'm talking about. Ooh. But anywho, somebody I just heard somebody say I'm gonna run, I'm about to run a Wawa's or I'm about to tap Mac. So tap Mac is a term. Um, I don't know if it's an East Coast thing or a Philly thing, but tapping Mac basically means you go into the ATM. I know the older saying that the older people would say in Philly, but I don't know if it's a Philly thing, East Coast thing, I don't know, but I know something. I heard a lot growing up. Tapping Mac. I'm about to go tap Mac. <laughs> yep. Let's see what else. These car. I'm telling you, look, immature woman. An immature older woman is mad at you that her man dick don't work. You hear that? Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with these cuz you're blaming them for y'all gonna think I'm making this up. I promise y'all. Main male and privileged lady. This lady is really truly gunning for you here. I don't understand. I don't understand. She don't like you at all. All because of this person. And you not even know where to be found. And this person here don't want to hear that. Some way, somehow, you still in the picture. Soon as you found out, you damn, you said, oh, no, I'm not into none of that. This is where you at. Let me turn you around. I'm sorry. This is where you at right now. And it's hard. This is hard to believe for this person. It's hard to believe that you're here or just here, period. Courtship. 
false person. This immature woman's um basically if he looks at you as the enemy. <laughs> oh Lord child. Mm -mm -mm. This poor child. If he had that big head is that big head but small ass brain is warped as a motherfucker. They do not want to break up from this connection or this relationship here. And they're 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 just they're going off the deep end. And they're blaming you. Everything that's happening in their life, they're blaming you. Mm. This is like a crazed, deranged person. This person has, this person does not, this person has a very, they're cold hearted. They, they don't like you. They hate, but hate is an understatement. They abhor, A-B-H-O-R, they abhor you. They loathe, they detest. You ever talk to someone? And someone express how much they hate something and to be real passionate. Like, I hate that. Mm, you know, like that. This person really feel that you put them here. Eight of swords and ten of swords. Don't worry. They're going to be 302. Oh, 302 to this cold for um, mental asylum. They'll be going to the mental asylum. They won't be coming out. They are truly going off the deep end. Somebody's going, um, somebody's going. Somebody's going, um, scuba diving or diving i keep hearing like water in my ear water sloshing in my ear and then i keep hearing um winnie the pooh winnie the pooh what's that um what's that place down florida um that amusement park uh disney world somebody could be going to disney world could be snorkeling could be going down to florida keys or the caribbean I, i'm i'm hearing water sloshing like you know, when you're in the sea, you're in the ocean, and you know, sometimes the water may get in your ear. I, I'm hearing that. So that's why I'm like trying to like, I'm trying to get that water out my ear or it, it sounds like water. Just be careful of sharks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else. <laughs> We have the nine of cups here. Yeah, they don't want to lose this connection here because if they lose, they lose this person, they lose the money. This money is, this person is nothing but a money bag to them. So they're trying to keep them at all costs, but they feel like you are in the way of them keeping them. So all the things that they do in regards to this masculine here or feminine take a high resonates. Um, and when things begin to backfire or has been backfiring, they then turn to look, they then turn to blame you for the reason why things are not working out. But when things are working out, you won't hear nothing. You won't see them enough and they cool. But as soon as something fucks up or backfires on their end, they're going to push the blame onto you. Um, so that way, they can get this person that they're so in love with on board with them. So that way this person can stay tied to them or love to them. Frank, quite frankly, or ironically, you, you actually will love that. 
So I don't understand what's going on with that woman's mind here. Cause like, I, I really feel like you would even say, Hey, have him, but it still wouldn't register. It's like, she feels like you destroyed, you destroyed her life. You, and you didn't, you didn't do nothing. It just goes to show just how warped some people's mind can become. And just how sad it is that, um, some people do not take their mental health um, serious at all. They think it's a joke and mental health is not a joke. It's a part of you. It's a part of your being. It's a part of you being here. So why would you take your mental health as a joke? That ain't nothing to play with. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing to laugh with, nothing to play with. Some people just think it's funny and the ones that thought it was funny is now suffering because now they realizing this shit not funny. The same ones that wanted to put you through anguish is the same ones that's going through right now and they can't take it. And they're not even at 100% of what they was given to us. They had the measly 5%. And they can't even take that, child. <laughs> 100%, please. Mm. Let me stop because my ass is rambling. That's, that's me. I will ramble, 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 child. Mm, mm, mm. Pluto. Sag, 10th house. Scorpio, moon, 9th house. South node, Sag, 2nd house. Scorpio, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius, uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, three more, Leo, Pisces. <laughs> Aries. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell.